How's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again with another map video for you guys. So, we're gonna go ahead and jump into some Ultimate Team. We have heavyweights out now, man. And I will say, I'm a little bit happier about these heavyweights. You know, like, I said this in past videos about the heavyweights that have been coming out, that the heavyweights haven't been that great. In my opinion, the heavyweights are more like middlemen to like the bigger upgrades but that's it the heavyweights don't play well as far as like competitively and it was an issue that i had with a lot of the heavyweights that dropped some of the heavyweights didn't even have power-ups so will they drop power-ups for the players maybe who knows what ea is ever thinking but um i will say like i said these heavyweights not that i wouldn't say not that bad but with like certain things you can do with them they'll become better um but first off we got michael um rockers and uh he's six foot five he's a left end six foot five 61 speed 78 acceleration 86 strength 91 tackling 93 play rec 92 block shed 75 power move and 55 finesse so not a pass rusher doesn't mean any thresholds but he is a run stuffer has 93 play rec, which is very good, and 91 tackling, which is also very good. Now, and he's a power-up, so that's another plus. This is what I mean by, th this is one of these players that would be essential for a theme team, right? Because not only do you have Ndamukong Sue with his uh, most feared out, great block shedder, you have him, and now you also have Aaron Donald. So... Um, I don't run a Rams theme team, so I wouldn't pick him up. Um, I will say this, the Calais Campbell that I do have, which I am trying to get Calais Campbell, want to get the most feared for him and power him up all the way. He does have the power up before the most feared and he plays well. He is in certain formations that I run and for a player that doesn't have the best pass rushing, he does a good job of pass rushing. Um, Black Shed is 91 for Clay, so that's good too. But he plays well for a player that's a heavyweight, essentially, outside of the one upgrade that he has before Most Fear. This, this card here would be good for a Rams team team. Well, I'll just say it like it is. It would be really good for a Rams team team. So this is what I mean by if you do have a Rams team team, this pickup will be great for you as far as run stuffing, especially with the meta how it is nowadays where everybody loves running the ball so much. You need to have players with good block shit. And that right there, that's a good player with good block shit. Not the best speed in the world, but do you really need the speed? I don't think so. You just need him to get off of blocks. And that mixed in with a theme team, like I said, that, that's a good pickup, man. And next up, we have Trent Williams. Um, for most of you guys that should know, Trent Williams is been going through a lot with the whole cancer and everything. And um, hopefully he gets, if he's not well already, hopefully he gets well and he gets all that sorted out. But um, Trent Williams, 90 strength, 90, 90 awareness, 87 pass block, 90 pass block power, 86 pass block footwork, 87 run block, 84 run block power, and 88 run block footwork so or finesse one of the two now here's what i would say right compared to jordan gross trent williams is a good pickup all right i'm gonna start by saying that if you do not have a left tackle i would say trent williams is the best way to go you can power him up and i'm sure they'll do some kind of like tribute or something for him or maybe they won't, I don't know, but I'm sure he'll get either another upgrade or they'll do some kind of tribute for him. But Trent Williams is a great pickup. Great strength, great awareness, has some pass blocking stats. The run blocking is not that great, but he he's still a good left tackle. And that strength helps out a lot all across the boards as far as his run blocking and his pass blocking. Now, why don't I pick him up? 
I said this in previous videos, and I'll say it again. It's not a matter of if anymore. It's a matter of when. Jordan Gross will be getting a Legend card. All right, he is a theme diamond. He will be getting a Legend card, and I will hold out for that. Um, that's the only reason why. Jordan Gross has not been playing bad for me. Of course, he has to go against Lawrence Taylor every other play, and he loses a good amount of times. But that goes. I think that happens to a lot of left tackles in this game. Now, um, if you don't have a Jordan Gross, if you don't have a left tackle that you're very fond of, I would say Trent Williams is a great pickup. He's going for pretty, not pretty cheap, but he last one was 160. This one's 177. Um, 177k for a left tackle. That's not bad. You might be able to find some legends that can probably go for close to. If maybe another a legend left tackle. Who's a legend left tackle? I think the other one is Anthony Munoz. What does Anthony Munoz come in at? Is it 92? Is Anthony Munoz 92 overall? Let's see. Left tackle. Let's see. Whoops. So he's definitely 90, 91. He just wasn't showing up. Or maybe I just didn't see him. Uh, okay, Anthony Munoz. 155K. Now, uh, Anthony Munoz, on the other hand, he doesn't have the strength, doesn't have the awareness. He has good pass blocking. His run blocking and everything else is somewhat the same. Now, don't quote me on this, but I do not think Anthony Munoz will get another power-up outside of his ultimate legend when they drop. I don't know that for sure, but I got a feeling with him they won't, only because if they do drop another left tackle, it's going to be somebody that's going to be 92 to 93, more than likely going to be Jordan Groves, okay? So I don't think they're going to flood the market with legend left tackles like that. Um, but I would say Trey Williams is a definite pickup for sure. Um, outside of that, um, Trey Williams is one of the few heavyweights in the game that I personally feel can hold his own just by himself, right? So I'm not talking about with no theme team, no Redskins theme team, none of that. <clears throat> I would say Trent Williams is, if not the only, one of the very, very, very few heavyweights that I would say, yeah, you, you, you definitely should get him. Because he's one of the few heavyweights that his stats aren't so freaking low and all over the place. Doesn't have a power up like a few of the heavyweights do. He has a power up. He has good stats. He can hold his own. So... I would say Trent Williams is a definite pickup. Outside of that, there's really nothing else going on. Probably going to bust out some seasons and um, on live stream some seasons. But outside of that, um, that's it, man. That's a heavy. That's the. Um, <clears throat> that's a heavyweight promo. I mean promo. That's the heavyweights that dropped today. And um, looking forward to this weekend league coming up. I've been labbing a new playbook. Um, the heavy run playbook. Um, I'm not trying to go towards the meta, but I am trying to access more running abilities for my team. And um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It probably won't be this weekend league, but I definitely want to start labbing that at some point in time. But other than that, man, thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been showing the videos. The Oakland Raider theme teams videos have been blowing up, all right, amazingly. And thank you for all the support. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. And um, I'm probably going to be doing more of the Oakland Raider theme teams again. I will probably come out with another video with of that theme team. Probably going to be this weekend league. I haven't really heard anything from anybody else. So please make sure you guys let me know if you guys want to see more of the Oakland Raider theme teams. Whether it's seasons or if you just want to see weekend league. But right now, I'm just going to keep it a weekend league. And... Um, that's it. Like I said, make sure you guys comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And other than that, that's it. Till the next one. Peace.